A typical jetpack has an average base price of $295,000. It has been a concept present in science fiction for almost a century, and the first working experimental devices were demonstrated in the 1960s. Although many different processes have been utilized to build jetpacks, their applications are restricted because of the Earth's atmosphere, gravity, the low energy density of extreme fuels, and the incompatibility of the human body for flight. As a result, jetpacks are mostly employed for stunts. However, in 2013, the company Jetman Dubai was able to revolutionize the jetpack industry. Using one of the first versions of its jet wing, they made a successful formation flight with an acrobatic plane. But how did they do it? Yves Rossi, a Swiss ex-military and commercial pilot, created and constructed a winged pack with four miniature Jetcat P400 engines that burn kerosene. The engines are scaled up versions of the kind used in model airplanes. The pack has stiff carbon fiber wings that span about 2.4 meters. To shield himself from the scorching jet exhaust, he wears a heat resistant outfit like that of a race car driver or fireman. Similarly, the engines are altered by adding a carbon fiber heat screen that extends the jet nozzle around the exhaust tail in order to further protect the user. Rossi claims that the system is so sensitive and reactive that he must tightly regulate his head, arm, and leg motions in order to prevent an uncontrollable spin. To avoid instability, the engines on the wing must be perfectly aligned throughout the setup process. The simultaneous ignition of all four engines is ensured by an electrical starting mechanism. Should the aircraft spin, the wing unit can be separated from the pilot, and both will land on Earth individually, equipped with parachutes. It has been claimed that the military was impressed and asked for prototypes for the powered wings, but that Rossi kindly refused the request, stating that the device was only intended for aviation enthusiasts. Rossi made it across the English Channel in 9 minutes and 7 seconds on September 26, 2008, from Calais, France, to Dover, England. During the crossing, he reached a speed of 300 km per hour, and when he deployed his parachute, he was traveling at 200 km per hour. Since then, he has successfully crossed the Grand Canyon on many trips while flying in formation with three military planes. In a race against a Skoda rally vehicle driven by Tony Gardemeister and carrying Richard Hammond as a passenger, Rossi made an appearance in a February 2012 edition of Top Gear. The rally vehicle took out along the rally circuit while Rossi and his support chopper descended to gain height. Once there, he dived and fired up his engines, following the car's path to compete. His progress was monitored using periodic smoke dashes, like those employed by Air Force demonstration teams or skywriters. One may observe how Rossi uses his body parts as control surfaces to execute a variety of moves in the onboard film of him flying the narrow and winding course. There are four major ways jetpacks can revolutionize transport, and the final one can save your life. Saving time. Major cities and urban areas struggle with lots of traffic and gridlocks. Small cities and areas, which should take mere minutes to navigate consume hours of your time, being able to jet from one point to the other easily and stress-free can be a game changer. Especially for people whose livelihood depend on their ability to quickly move around. Healthcare. Imagine a world where first responders can easily reach someone in urgent need of medical care without the delays of traffic. A world where organs can get to patients in the ICU on time. Jetpacks can give us that future. Lives do not have to be at the mercy of the limitations of road transport. Military. The increased mobility a jetpack can give to troops cannot be overstated. A strike team engaged in hostage rescue can easily approach rigged terrain from the air, rather than waste time and avert casualties caused by landmines or ground explosives. A swifter approach will ensure a higher success rate in hostage rescues. First responders, a police officer responding to an emergency distress call, can quickly reach the scene of a crime in progress, potentially saving a life or catching a criminal. A police officer on a jetpack, packed with over 1,000 horsepower, will beat an officer driving at 60 miles per hour. In these situations, every second counts. Going by air avoiding traffic jams and tight street corners and rough roads can just give you those minutes or seconds that save your life. F jetpacks are so awesome. Why aren't we flying around in them? 
The restrictions on the popular use of jetpacks in our everyday lives is due to limitations placed on us by physics and anatomy, not by inadequacies of scientists. Let's break it down. To move in the air, you need to push your weight in the air while constantly resisting gravity. That requires a lot of energy. The most efficient source of energy we have to create thrust like that is fuel. To stay in the air long enough to cover reasonable distances, you need to store more fuel to burn. That would make the jetpack heavier, and the heavier jetpack will require more fuel. It's an endless cycle. Airplanes use the principles of aerodynamics to achieve sustained flight, and manned rockets are very big. The Apollo missions used huge Saturn V rocket, the majority of which were just fuel needed to get to space in the first place. That's many gallons of fuel to send into space, an object about the size of a minibus. Also, there is the issue of regulations to ensure safety. Are we ready for mid-air crashes? Crashes into homes, hospitals, schools? A sudden mishap in mechanics or fuel will endanger the lives of not just the flyer, but others too. So will we ever fly around in jetpacks? Well, it's hard to say because jetpacks might kill you, just as it killed one of its biggest fans. But first, the human body is not built to withstand the pressures of open flight. The jetpack wearer would need to be outfitted in a protective, pressurized suit, which of course would be problematic because of the extra weight. Also, you would lose your legs. Two rockets blowing extremely hot flames pointed directly at your legs isn't ideal. The movies lied. One of Dubai's famed Jetman pilots, Eves Rossi, was killed in a crash after failing to deploy the emergency parachute attached to the winged engine strapped to his back. The investigators said video from the crash appeared to show him lose control and go into a backflip, hovering some 800 feet off the ground. Such backflips are common when wearing the wings and recoverable if the pilot thrusts forward through the flip, the report said. Refet had experience coming out of those flips in the past, but at higher altitudes, this accident led to his death, and many began to wonder if jetpacks may ever be safe for commercial use. But there is hope! Jetpacks seemed impossible up until the 2010s, when startups finally released functional models that anyone could learn how to use. Flight time currently has been extended to around five or six minutes, and the limitations of this technology are constantly being pushed to the extreme. As we roll into the late 2020s, we will see increase in the level of adoption. Also, more extensive regulations on jetpacks will be rolled out for legal and safety purposes. For example, at a cost of $4,950, Jet Aviation is offering a two-day training course for their JB-10 model, which the Federal Aviation Administration has approved. For safety purposes, trainees are tethered by wires to a large metal frame to prevent them from spinning off uncontrollably. The long-term impacts of this trend may include the creation of new aerial sports, changes in domestic airspace regulations, the emergence of novel criminal activities, and the transformation of travel and community structures. So it is safe to say your grandkids might grow up in a world where jetpacks are a standard means of transportation. This technology presents a very exciting future, and it might be flying to us faster than you think.